morning. Oops. <clears throat> Good morning. Hi. Wow, my voice sounds like I was putting it all nighter. I'm going to try and get some better lighting here. Hi, everyone. Grab some coffee. Come chat. I have fun updates from yesterday. Hello, hello. Um, updates from yesterday. What's happening here? All right. Um, can someone comment so I know my comments work? Hi, Jessica. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Jamie. I want to make sure I'm saying your name right. Is it Swati? Am I saying that right? Please definitely correct me if I'm not saying that right. Um, Cooper has headed off to his... Oh, hold on. I'll tell you all about summer school. Ooh, okay. Okay. So Cooper headed off to his second day of summer school today, and he had a little bit more anxiety than yesterday. A little bit more. And... Um, it's interesting because anxiety isn't, I, I, I am not autistic. I cannot, I cannot speak for Cooper. I can just subjectively comment. Um, his anxiety isn't, it doesn't seem to be about school. Like he seemed to really enjoy school. So, so for context, um, in Minnesota, we have something called ESY. It's extended school year. But really, if just to say it very basically, it's summer school for kids in the special education program. And our, it can be different times throughout the summer based on your district. Ours is in July. It's three weeks long, three hours a day, Monday through Thursday, if that makes sense. So three weeks. So he started yesterday. Oh, four days a week. Sorry. It's Monday through Thursday. Excuse me. And it can be a hard thing for our kids who love routines and love control and love to know what's going on because the days are so short. So it's like this like uh, double-edged sword because the shortness is nice because you get them there and they get home. Um, you, you typically avoid uh, the stress of a long day, right? But I don't think many of our kids fall into a routine because it's so fast. The other hard thing is, and, and I'll just say this, so if someone wants to bop me in the head, feel free. Um, for, a, for a kid like Cooper, ESY is the only thing he has during the summer. So for a lot of parents that don't have help and, you know, our kids can't be dropped into a typical summer program, it's the only break for parents. That's the honest truth. We can kind of cut that up however we want and put a bow on it, but... You know, so there's a lot of parents, like, we have not been apart, I have not, because I work from home, I have not been apart from Cooper during the day since school got out. And, you know, if you're watching this, you may be like, well, I'm with my kids every day, too. Well, it's a little different, and I'm going to tell you why. You know, yesterday, the second he got on the bus, I went for a walk with the dog. I can't do that with him, because he, he can't do long distances, and he can't walk at a fast speed. So, um, I ran to Target. That's something that would be really hard for him to just do a full, okay, I'm going to just show you Tank because he would like some attention. Hold on. Okay. Can you say hello? Can you say hi? Here's Tanker. He's a wild beast. If anyone is interested in getting a sibling of Tank, um, the family that we got Tank from, they just had puppies. Would anyone like a sibling of Tink Tinkerino? He is a wonderful dog, except for at this exact moment. Tinker, stop. Here, look at this shoelace. Oh, look at this shoelace. How fun is this? How fun is this? But in saying all that, we are so, I am so thankful for ESY. I'm so thankful because it's the only thing Coops has and he looks forward to it so he was ready 20 minutes yet early yesterday for the bus I don't like this lighting he was ready 20 minutes early um it ended up being a van I'm gonna move guys I don't 
I, I hate how dark I am right now. Okay. I feel like I'm like in like a dark hole. There we go. When you reach 40, you need lighting. If we know what I mean. Like, all the lights. A lot of my friend bloggers have those ring light things, but you know, my kids would just destroy it and my dogs would eat it. So, my dogs, so I can't. You know, it's funny. So whenever, uh, Stacy, so whenever I say that Cooper has nothing during the day in the summer, um, you know, people uh, typically ask me about horseback riding in Miracle League. And and here's here's the, the difference. And, and I, it's a very, very big difference. Cooper rides horses for 30 minutes on Tuesday nights, and I have to walk in the ring with him with my hand on his leg, and it I am his emotional support person. There is no watching from afar like a baseball game with Sawyer. There's no... So we're there because I'm there. We're there because I'm... He actually... When I was in Georgia, I wasn't able to go, and um, it didn't work. Um, and I think that, that that's why I try to talk about this stuff because, like, there is this huge distinction. So I have a neurotypical 10-year-old and I have a neurodiverse 12-year-old. We drop Sawyer off at practice at 5.50 and we pick him up at 8.10. Send him with a water bottle. See ya, right? <laughs> Last night we had Miracle League. Um, I don't know if I've ever sweat as much in my life as I did last night <laughs> trying to make all the parts work. So it, it, it's not the same. It's not the same. So when you, when you hear a family saying with a, with a kid, with a child like Cooper that they're, um, that they're doing Miracle League or Challenger or any Special Olympics say that, please know that it's, as Carrie says, my friend, it's a lot of scaffolding to make it work. So uh, this morning he um, was ready, you know, 30 minutes early. We were outside waiting. And then when the van pulled up to pick him up, the second the van pulled up, he pulled up this Elmo scene on his iPad and it was um, Dorothy's birthday. Can anyone, does anyone know who Dorothy is in comparison to Elmo? I will give it a minute. You'll win a prize, which is an air high five for me. <sighs> Cooper loves Dorothy. And in this episode that we have been watching for 10 years, um, it's Dorothy's birthday. And there's this picture. The fish, Becky! High five! Yes, Becky, it's uh, the goldfish. So in this um, episode, um, there's like a picture, uh, that's like a still picture, and it's all the parts of a birthday party. So it's like cake, there's like eight things on it, cake, decorations, like a one of those like blow favors, party favors, a hat, presents. And he um, wasn't gonna get up to walk to the bus, which is like just down the driveway, and I was like, this is where I always say I'm an emotional support person. I'm like, buddy, your birthday's December 6th. We can definitely talk about your birthday. We could maybe even have a half birthday party, but today we have to go to school, you know, as I'm like starting to like, he's always gotten on the bus, always, except for kindergarten. If you read my book, you know how hard kindergarten was, but he's always gotten on the bus post that. So we walked down and, um, he has the nicest driver in PCA. And there's only one other little girl on the van. And so we were talking about the birthday party and um, he refused to get on. And what that looks like in our world, and, and it's it's stressful. Like, I, I'm in full control, but I'm also under a microscope. I have two people watching me that are very kind, but they're watching me. They are on a schedule. And um, what happens is like, I'll reach in to like, you know, touch coops and he's like, he'll do this like slippery fish thing where he's like, you're not getting me in that van. <laughs> and it's like, dude, you're the same size as me. I can't force you in that van if I wanted to, but I can talk to you to get you into the van. So we talked about his birthday. We talked about having a half birthday party and he kept holding up different numbers. So Cooper's a big number communicator. So like, for example, this morning, 
We have two days of school left, not counting today. He's trying to tell me it's three days to grandma's. That's not true. His birthday is December 6th. He wants 10 presents. So, like, if you were a fly on the wall, I think sometimes Jamie laughs. That's Cooper's dad, who's very hands-on. But Cooper and I have this, like, language. So, like, he'll be sitting, like, eating breakfast, and he's, like, showing me the different numbers. And I'm, like, having a whole conversation. I'm like, yes, your birthday is December 6th. Yes, 10 presents for your birthday. Like, <laughs> I'm sure he's like, what in the heck are you talking about? It's stressful. And, and I'm not that person. My other ch children don't need that person. Like, maybe if my toddler's overtired and having a stressful time or a story. But that's the other, you know, stark difference between special needs parenting in our world is like, and I, and I touched a lot about this in my book too is that my other three kids have other people so like that they can that they can get things that they need from if that makes sense like Sawyer um, works on batting with grandpa and he has friends to play with and he has um, sports teams to learn and with Cooper all that comes from me and a little bit from dad and it's there are times, you know, I just feel like I'm losing my mind. <laughs> so last night we had Miracle League photos, which a bunch of the Miracle League moms are on here. And I first want to say that the photographer did a phenomenal job being inclusive to get every child, all 12 or 14 kids, in the photo and smiling. And then I'm going to say... That ain't happening. You have 12 or 14 newer diverse kids. Let me show you. I don't have, I didn't get the best picture because I was like high stress, but a bunch of the other moms got really good photos. But like, I mean, this is like, it, it, he, it was so sweet. He was like trying to like line up each kid and he kept saying like crisscross applesauce and like he did such a good job and like the kids were like, Bruh! like running around and it, this is the power of a mother, so like I just, this just melted my heart. So I would say more so than the other kids, one of Cooper's challenges is waiting. So bringing him in at the last moment is like smart, but this photographer wanted to get all the kids lined up. Like you're moving mountains here, sir. And so we, Cooper refused to stand, so he sat, which is fine, on the ground. And um, he was blocking, I think, blocking someone. And they have no idea, right? So he had liked this chair. There was like a folding chair, and he a camp chair, and he liked it earlier. So this awesome mom, Emma's mom, was like, Cooper's going to sit on this chair for the photo. And the photographer, like, you could tell, like, it was, like, against his vision. And he was like, no. And she's like, Cooper's going to sit in this chair. <laughs> wanted to hug her because like it was so sweet of her to like recognize that he was struggling he was struggling and she was just like this is happening it just it meant a lot to me it it meant a lot to me it was so sweet and I commented about it after I was like I love that I just love that you helped him because First, these are all special needs parents, so like, and they all know Cooper. Our whole Miracle League team, we're all friends, so they all know Cooper. But I've been talking a lot about this lately, you know, when I do lives. It's like, I feel like when you have a child with a disability, and I don't feel like this with my other three kids, I feel like it's almost as if like they're like dissected up into their parts, right? Like it's like aggression, self-injury, anxiety, you know, all the different parts. And like as he's getting older, it's like I feel like so many people in our life just see the challenging parts. And, and maybe they're not even people in our life. Like maybe it's like the stranger at the park or the teacher or the therapist I don't know and it's like they see like level four severe autism and like they're like well what parts does he have that's how I feel right 
and I, I want to like continuously scream like, he's the sum of his parts. Like, he is so funny, and he's so um, smart and silly and naughty and and um, he's a good brother and he's a great son. Like, and I just I don't notice that with my other kids. I don't notice that. It doesn't happen in, in the neurotypical world. So I don't, um, I don't know why. It's, it's like when you enter the special needs world, you become like a number, an evaluation, like a listing on a chart. And, and it's not with everybody. You know, we have this beautiful world for Cooper, but I'm seeing it more as he gets older. So I love when people... Like my friend Tina last night was like telling me how much she loved um, seeing Cooper at Costco. She's like, he's so funny. And I was like, I know, he is so funny. He's so funny. Um, but people that, you know, hear nonverbal or non-speaking or severe, like they just forget that like he can be so many other things too. It's my little bit of soapbox. So I sent him off today. He got off, just let's fingers crossed for a good day. He gets home about 12.20, and then I think we're gonna take him down to the boat. We're trying to keep him active and keep him doing things. Um, Sawyer's at hockey camp today, and they're actually going to a golf place. They're going golfing. And then the two babies are at preschool. Sawyer, or Harbor has soccer today. Wore his soccer shirt, he loves soccer. And we are not a soccer family, so secretly way down repressively hoping he doesn't want to play soccer <laughs> but if he does we are all here for it <laughs> we'll see sorry sorry was kicked out of soccer for being too aggressive so we'll see how harbor does harbor doesn't have that sports aggressive thing i think so harbor is going to be more like an actor i think harbor is going to be like actor um Um, dancer, singer, we'll see. I, I, I really have no idea, but he doesn't seem like he has the, the sports gene. And I think it'd be a lot of fun to have, you know, someone who's into different things. So that'd be very fun. Okay, let's talk about Costco because it was so, so fun. And it was so much more than a trip to Costco. And I know if you have a child like Cooper, you understand. And if you don't, um, I'll tell you. What age was Sawyer kicked out of soccer? I would say four. They were like, ooh, oh. <laughs> so uh, we didn't go back to soccer. It wasn't for him either. Sawyer was beet red <laughs> the whole soccer. It was just not for him. It was not for him. Okay, so... Yesterday, Cooper got off the bus, and um, Jamie and I, he ate lunch when he got home, so we're like, well, we can't go to a restaurant. Like, what do we do? We want to do something with him. We have a short window of time. And I had this, like, revelation last week that Cooper's never been to, like, a shopping place. That sounds funny. Like, he's been to a grocery store. He's been to a Target. He's been to a Michael's. But, like, I had this, like, revelation. Like, he's never shopped for clothes. Like, do you remember... Um, school shopping and like going and trying on clothes like we would go to like um, JC Penney's and try on clothes we would go to Kohl's and try we like remember like Marie says as I got older Cooper could never try on clothes like that just would never happen but I had this revelation I'm like I don't think he's ever even been to like a shoe store I don't even know what he would do in a shoe store uh, but I didn't want to do that yesterday, but I was like, well, what do we do? Like, what do we do? And someone, we had a, we had a Minnesota mom's um, happy hour on Sunday night. And one of the moms was like, I would take my son to Costco and I would give him a list and we would just take all the time it needs. Like no hurry. Like he could just like add things as we went. And I was like, a really good idea and what's nice 
is there's not paper, there's not really, ours doesn't have movies, I don't think, a few books, but like the distractions, like the triggers for him that he as, it has his obsessive behaviors around aren't there. I was like, this is good. So yesterday we sat down, I asked him like, do you want to go to Costco? And he was like, yes, I don't think he knew what it was. But I was like, it's a store with all kinds of stuff. It's really big. So we sat down and made a shopping list. And it's funny, um, with food shopping lists for Cooper, a lot of the foods that he adds, he doesn't would never eat. Like bananas. He's always into watermelon. I don't know why. It must be from like a show. But I was like, let's just put 10 things on the list and we can get whatever. Anything at Costco is lovely, so I was not worried if we, you know, ended up with peaches or whatever. It didn't matter. And I didn't think it'd be very busy at, you know, 2 o'clock on a Monday. And it's funny, I thought it was actually really busy. And everyone in my stories was like, I've never seen a Costco so empty. But I think it was just the way that I was filming. Um, I don't ever try to get other people. And I'm also terrible at it, filming. But there were actually a lot of people there. So I was tensing when we walked in because there's like nothing busier than a Costco or a Sam's Club parking lot. Am I right? I mean, wow. So as we're walking in, I said to Jamie, I was like, do you think this is a bad idea? And he's like, we'll just see you. He's like, who cares? So we walked in and we stopped at the books first and he actually like didn't grab one. I thought he, he could have grabbed one, but he didn't want one. They were kind of little kiddish, which he still likes that sort of stuff, but there wasn't, he didn't want one. So then we found the swing. We found this like, um, what's it called? What's that called? Like a, my mind just went blank. This is what happens to me. Like a swinging chair, a swinging, a big one, like a bench swing. Sorry, I don't know what I'm trying to say. But he thought that was the coolest thing, like being in the store. So he sat on that. And it was funny because I want one for down by, um, oh, we know, Rachel, we didn't get it. Um, I, I really want one. I, so we have a swing set and a glider, yeah. And I want one. Um, and I found them on Home Depot and Menards. But, but please know, I love my husband very much. But if I was to get one, he would like <laughs> get so mad at me and be like, yeah put this together and he would like fake his own death and be like Ugh. it would not be good but I, I really do want one someone wants to build me one and I really really want one we didn't get that one because it seemed a little bit like it wouldn't last and I can just picture like harbor like you know insanely on it and but I really, really, really don't want <gasps> Billy will put it together. Yeah. I really want one. I had one growing up. I, I, I don't think I've ever shared this, but like my dad, who I did not live with, but I saw, had this like tiny cabin on this lake in northern Wisconsin. And they had a porch swing. And I think about that all the time. Especially since my dad is, you know, so different now. And I think about it all the time. So I want one. But so he sat on that for a while and he tried to negotiate some things with me with his fingers. And then I was like, Cooper, that's where the strawberries are. And it was the produce room. So if you haven't been to a Costco or a Sam's Club, they have like a, like a, a cooler, like a walk-in room as big as my room. I didn't know what he would do. So we walked in there and he was like, oh. <laughs> he like gasped. He was like, what is this place? You know, Cooper doesn't eat a lot of foods, but he loves some strawberries. So we grab strawberries and then I like, I don't always know how long we have. You're on a window. Um, you're on a window at time, even though that didn't happen yesterday, but I was like, this may end. So grabbed, I grabbed zucchini and squash. And what else did I grab? Oh, um, I love me some green beans that I can throw in the air fryer. So grab that and then came out and he was like super fascinated, like by all the fruits and vegetables, like the 
the bananas. It must be a Curious George thing because I don't think I could pay Cooper to eat a banana, but he was like, and, the, and it was like 12 million bananas. Like he was like, <sighs> so then he sees the watermelon and Jamie, I wanted to get some steaks to have. So, um, you know, got to get that best cut of meat for the cheapest price. Right. And, um, so Jamie like went to get meat or whatever and Cooper walks to the watermelon and like if you didn't watch it, you can go to my stories and watch this. Or I, I shared the video on YouTube. It's Finding Cooper's Voice. But he, like, picked up the watermelon, and, like, he acts like it is, like, a thousand pounds. It is the funniest, cutest thing. Like, if you haven't loved Cooper, you will fall in love with him. And he, like, puts it in the cart. Well, it, like, bounced. Like, it was, like, <gasps> And I can hear my husband from across the store, like, did we just get a watermelon? And I was, like, yeah, we did. <laughs> Cooper's like so proud. It was so funny. So then I found like this the most amazing thing. You guys, um, so I love sorry, I'm like Costco geeking out here, but I love grilled little grilled chicken strips. But sometimes the frozen ones are slimy. Can we admit that? Like the frozen ones in the bag, sometimes they're slimy. So I like saw like in like the meat section there was like this big pack individually split up of grilled chicken like hey Andrew cut up and like I was like tractor being like Whoa. I was like Cooper we have to have this you know <laughs> so he gets that then he made me pull up the list and he had cookies on the list but He's very particular. Like he isn't gonna just like grab like anything. So I had to like kind of keep him motivated. So then I just I wanted to take him down the aisles. Um, yes, Chelsea, they were really good. We had Caesar salads last night, and they were really good. They were not slimy. They were not. Um, they were very good. I was I was very impressed. So the thing with Costco is we'll go back, and they probably won't be there. That's what always drives me bonkers about Costco. It's like or Sam's Club, like. They won't be there, but very exciting. So kept walking and then, um, like this is like, this is like Cooper's humor. Um, like, so he opened a freezer and he was like, <laughs> like, he's just funny. Or like they had samples, like he would never, never have a sample. Like that's just not something he would do. But I tried to like convince him to try a pickle. Oh my gosh, it would never happen. He was funny. He was like faked his own death. He's like, oh. <laughs> then I found these like amazing veggies. They're out, they're out in the garage. Um, what were the chicken strips called? Well, I don't know what they're called, but they're made in Canada. We had a laugh about that. Cause I was like, those Canadians, they know their chicken. Um, so I can share a picture after Connie. I'll snap a picture. So we, um, I found these like amazing veggies. Did anyone see the veggies that I shared? Well, I'm like apparently like, apparently only look at eye level and under, I grabbed a, a Brussels sprouts one. I love me some Brussels sprouts. And then I grabbed another one. I'll just throw them in the air fryer. Like I was like super excited. And it said like $7.99 and like $8.99. So I was like, I grabbed both. And Jamie's like, settle down soldier. That's like $45 of vegetables. And I was like, no, it's not. It's eight ninety nine and seven ninety nine, and he, Jamie was like this, like slow motion. He was like so crabby. He was like, and I looked up and I was like, oh, sorry. <laughs> I was like, I really want these. I really wanted them, so got those. Cooper tried to bribe us for some other things, but like it was like waffles. But like that's one. Thing. Can anyone admit it's hard to buy like a thousand waffles? Cause like where do you keep them? And then, um, I didn't film this, but so this is kind of like, so some of the funny things that I didn't share, like, and just to show Cooper's perkiness, like that you have to be hyper vigilant. There was like a giant, it didn't matter what was on the palette, but it was like a giant thing of like Hershey's powder mix. It was like as tall as Cooper. He like ran into it and was like, whoa, and like pretended to fall. He's very silly. It did not fall over, but like that's an example of like, okay, we cannot, we have to be on our toes. Then he like ran, 
he likes to like there's this episode of Barney where Barney and BJ and Baby Bob go kart. I know my life is weird, you guys. So he likes to like pretend he's on a go kart. And um bye Connie. And he like very gently like went up to someone's cart and was like, Whoa and the guy um the guy was like, Hi is a 12 year old boy like why would a 12 year old boy do that so then it's a quick you know sentence like hi this is my son cooper he has autism he's having so much fun in costco today you know like i just say that and people that are 99 percent kind what else did he do that was silly oh the veggie straws jamie actually picked out ice cream sandwiches uh and he got cooper to buy them or grab them I'm going to tell you why all this is a really big deal because I know I'm, I'm sharing a lot about Costco, but I'm going to tell you why it's all a big deal. And then we um, we didn't find cookies. I thought that there would be like things that he would like in the front, you know, where they have like the treats. Nope, he's pretty picky. So because it was just me, him, and Jamie, I was like, Jamie, I'm going to take him back to the, the bakery. Um, and we weren't in a hurry. And that's the nice thing. Like if we would have had the other kids, it wouldn't have worked, right? It just... So I walked him back, and there was actually nothing he wanted. Um, we did buy a thing of chocolate chip cookies, but I just froze them because he won't eat them. He won't eat them. Um, but he did. We got them to you know check it off the list, and that's fine. We'll take them out for something. Some will eat them. Obviously, this house is like a garbage disposal. And then we skipped the line. So, meaning Jamie paid. Now, this is a huge, I just wanted to, like, share. Uh, no, we didn't, Rachel. We didn't. But he actually got them at Jerry's last night. We ran to get, we ran to Jerry's last night after Miracle League. But just as, if someone's, like, starting, if you're a mom, dad, grandparent, and you're starting the a therapist and starting the grocery store trips, please take this one piece of advice from me that I had to learn Break your shopping up into three parts of development progress. Just walking in the store is one. Don't even buy anything. Then once you master that, shop. Start for one item at a time, two items at a time, three items at a time. Master that. Then paying. So with Cooper, I we had Jamie, my husband, come with because I didn't we were not gonna wait in the line to pay. So like I walked out with him and he was a little concerned. He was like, ah, 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 which is dad, D-A-D, ah, ah, ah. And I'm like, we're going to, we're going to go outside. And he stopped a few times and he was like, and I'm like, no, we're going to wait. I'm like, it is so crazy in that line. I'm like, we looked and he was like, oh, because it was like five deep. So we kept walking. Um, how do you do your green beans in the air fryer? I legit do olive oil, garlic powder, and a little bit of salt. And then I do like 375 for like seven minutes. Um, if you, green beans, asparagus, and broccoli burn so fast in the air fryer, low and slow. Yes, Rachel, yep. Yeah. Um, Sarah, I think they do, but we've never done it, the scan and go. So I um, went out to the car. Now I just wanna tell you like why, oh, I'll tell you really quickly. This is the other, another like scary nonverbal autism thing. Um, so uh, we very much worry about door dings. So I, we have always helped Cooper into the vehicle. We had JB's truck and he sits in the back seat. So meaning we open the door. It's something we taught because like Cooper has no problem. Like, <laughs> so we open the door. So I helped him in, um, I opened the door, um, helped him in the back, and then I actually went and sat in the driver's seat just because I wanted to turn the air on. It was like 100 degrees yesterday in Minnesota. So I get in the driver's seat, I turn the vehicle on, and I like picked up my phone to like look at something. And Cooper, as calm as you could be, was like, mm, ah, mm. and I was like, yeah, buddy. And he had his hand like right in front of my face, and he went like this, slow. And sitting right here was a hornet. And I'm like, ah! ah! You know, and like, Cooper! Cooper, are you stunned? Like, I was like, over the top dramatic, because I'm over the top dramatic. But I, I don't know if he grabbed it. 
I didn't know if it stung him. I didn't know how he caught it. Like, where did you get a hornet? <laughs> like, what? So, like, I inspected. He was stunned. Like, he was stunned. Um, and I, like, I didn't see anything. But, like, I had to, like, explain it to him. So I was like, buddy. This is so, this is Cooper's funny personality. I was like, did it sting you? And I took kind of, like, my, my nails. And I just went, you know, boop. Kind of like a little sting, not even enough to leave a mark, you know. But I wanted to know kind of what it felt like, and and he goes, "Ow!" And I'm like, "Yeah, did did ow happen here?" And he said, "Yes, of course. It, it didn't sting him, but Cooper answers yes to everything." But he like wanted to get in the front seat with me, like he was definitely concerned about like this hornet situation. And then he said, "Ah ah ah!" And I'm like, "Do you want me to tell Dad about the hornet?" And he was like, "Yeah." So Jamie was walking out, loading up the back, and I got out, and I was like. The craziest thing just happened. Cooper was holding a hornet. So this is the funny part about Cooper. So Jamie gets in and he's like, buddy, are you okay? Like, did it sting you? Like, where did it sting you? And he's like, right here. And I was like, did you get hurt? And he's like, yes, right here. I mean, he didn't say that. He's like, yeah. I'm like, he didn't get hurt there. I'm like, that was me. <laughs> like, he thought that was the sting. He's funny. Oh my gosh, he's just a mean loon. But it didn't sting him. And I don't know how it happened. But, like, that's scary. He can be so calm in these, like, situations that are so, like, he could be so, this is what's terrifying. Like, he could be so calm in a fire. I bet, and I'm just saying this, if this house was on fire, he would sit right here and be like, mm, ah, mm. Yeah, that's how calm he is. You know, like, that's why we have to be so careful. He'll touch the stove. He'll touch the oven super calmly. We're like, other kids would get, would never do it, but would get so worked up, like, fire! He would be like, hmm. he would find an episode, like, with a fire. Yeah, it's scary. Um, okay, so let me tell you, before I go, like, why all of this is, like, such a big deal. Because I, I just think it's so huge. And if you want to see our trip to Costco, um, go to my YouTube page and you can watch it. It's Finding Cooper's Voice. I shared it last night. So I didn't know, and I'm saying this honestly, wholeheartedly, truthfully, I didn't think that Cooper would ever be able to walk in the store. Um, I thought he would never be able to calmly walk. I thought he would never push the cart. I thought he would sweep things off the shelves. I thought he would run. I thought he would scream. I I mean, never. That was one of the things that I was like, he's going to move mountains. He's going to do great things, but we'll never be able to walk in the store. And we kept him in the cart as long as we could until he couldn't fit. When he was in the cart, you know, he would stand and rock it. He would throw things out. So stores were just not in the cards for 10 years. You know, and I would get so frustrated, like, when people were like, you have to keep going. You know, you, I bring my kid who's just like Cooper everywhere. It's like, can't do it. And it was hard. It was hard. And we started, you know, we started practicing walking in parking lots. We started working on sitting and walking and calm body and walks around the neighborhood. And all this stuff took years, guys, four or five years, right? And then during COVID, you know, when our, he would go with me to get like one item and there'd be no one there, you know, it was very limited and we'd get one item or we just started building up, you know, but I had this moment yesterday when I was watching him and I was like, I never thought this would happen. I never. Like my dream has always been, I have a story in my book about going to Panera Bread and watching <laughs> this like family, this mom with her son who was much older than Cooper sitting there eating. He was nonverbal, I could tell. And they were talking about going to the library and running errands. And I remember like crying in my tomato soup because I was like, we'll never, we'll never be able to do that not there we'll never we'll never get there you know right negative woe is me but it just that's how it felt and 
watching him walk around yesterday and laugh and be silly, it was probably the most fun I've ever had with him. Oh my gosh, that sounds crazy. It was a trip to Costco. It was probably the most fun. He was so engaging and silly and chatty. You know, and didn't even say a word, obviously. But like, so chatty and um, engaged. And it was just, um, it's not my volume, guys. It's just Facebook. Just Facebook. My volume doesn't do anything. I wish it did, Donna. Um, I wish it did. Some people say if you go out and come back that the volume fixes. I'm not sure. And, um, you know, even the food thing. Cooper would never have even touched other foods. He wouldn't have had the tolerance to touch other foods. He wouldn't have the tolerance to put things in the cart. He wouldn't have cared to put things in the cart. He would have wanted to. The idea of a list, he carried the list. He carried the list. And like brought me back to it. Like he was like, hey lady, you forgot this. You know? I just have this dream. And I'll just say a really vulnerable statement. Like I have this dream that this is all going to be okay. Because there's times where I don't know if it's going to be. There are times I'm terrified. I'm terrified of the world. And I'm like, this is not. We're not going to make it out this. We're going to have to move in the woods and live away from the mean people of the world, right? I'm going to have to homeschool them. It's like, and there, yesterday I was like, we got this. It was just fun. It was fun. It was enjoyable. And because, and I'll, and I'll just add one more sentence is that the reason I say that is that, you know, like horseback riding and Miracle League, Rachel's on here. They're very fun, but they're fun in a different way. It's very high stress for the parents. You know, we're, we're herding cats. We're keeping, we're keeping the, the train on the tracks. Like, wow, you know. But last night, like, or yesterday, like, we just, like, roamed. We just roamed. So, um, it was really, it was a good day. Miracle League was a hot mess. It was just so hot in the photos, and, but it was fun. I mean, did you guys, I'll share it later, but did you watch my stories? Because, like, um, Peyton, Cooper's best friend, um, has decided that she loves all the Swenson boys now. <laughs> Jamie. Cooper, Sawyer, and Harper. Cooper's her favorite for sure, but she really likes her some Sawyer. And she really likes her some Harper, so. And her PCA Lauren. Like, she's just in the Swenson family. Like, she's right with us. And do you know that I thank God for that little girl every day? It sounds so cheesy. I like thank, I like thank God for her. That she was like, oh, there's Shannon. Oh, Shannon, I like thank God that, like, she was like, brought into our life she's just <laughs> Cooper sat down last night and like refused to go on the field and Peyton walked up to him and like she's a very soft talker she, but I can hear her so I was bent down and she was like Cooper do you want to play baseball yes or no yes or no so the teachers must do that and I do that so what that means is like when we ask Cooper a question like we'll hold our hands up so like this morning I was like do you want this or this and he'll point so she was like Cooper, do you want to play more baseball? Yes or no? The answer is yes. Come on, big boy, get up. It was so funny. Someone else heard it. Rachel, did you hear it? Because like, um, or it was someone else heard it. I was dying. Like she's like, get up, get up. And he's like, and I'll tell you one other thing. That picture lineup last night was insane. It was like, eight minutes of the loudest chaos and I want to be and, and, and Cooper showed no aggression and I, I watched like Peyton like get up and like move him at one point and I had this like second of worry like is he gonna you know give her a smack like I don't know 
he has been so gentle that I've seen with her and and all the kids. But I was really proud of him. Like I was really I was stressed. I wanted to smack somebody. <laughs> like I was like, this is a lot. Like I have back sweat. But you know, we just worry all the time. Parents worry all the time. And I I she just takes his hand and she's like, We're going. And like if he doesn't want to, like he'll turn away from her and then she'll just like go to the front of him. Like, like, no. Also, like, one more thing, like, so in Miracle League, kids get buddies, and it's usually other sports teams. So, like, Sawyer will be able to do it. Yes, Rachel, like, Sawyer will be able to do it, like, when their team, I think they have to be 12, like, he wants to do it with his baseball team. So they're 12-year-olds. And, um... Or it's like a medical, or it's like a therapy place, or whatever. Anyone can volunteer. So please know, anyone can volunteer to do Miracle League. Reach out. If you if you have a sports team, reach out. It's amazing. To your local Miracle League. Sawyer, um, but Cooper's never been able to have a buddy. Like, he would never, even today, like, he would never play with someone he didn't know. But, like, some of the kids, like Ben and Seeley, and they love having a buddy, like, Dexter was another boy. Like, he loves having a buddy. Like, he was, like, cheering with the kids. It was just wonderful. So I, Jamie or I have always been his buddy. And, like, again, as the parent, like, you want to watch sometimes. Like, you want to stand back. Like, you don't want to have to, like, you know, you just dream. Like, can I just be the parent and not the therapist, right? He plays now with um, Sawyer and Peyton. He does the bases. It's like these like simple things like that's the light at the end of the tunnel. It's not the light you pictured, but it's that's the light at the end of the tunnel is him going with these other kids and like no one bats an eye when he, you know, does whatever. It's nice. It's it's good. Hang in there parents. Hang in there like it gets better. Parts get harder parts get better and sometimes the better is the patents and the and the things that you don't think they're gonna be so Melissa we wouldn't be able to do it I get the rule but we wouldn't be able to do it it totally makes sense but we wouldn't be able to be there our whole family's on the field <laughs> our whole family is out there yeah. And Sawyer's a really good buddy for, for Cooper. Um, Sawyer, I think, really enjoys it, too. He's very proud that he gets to do that with him. And, and um, you know, Sawyer fancies himself a baseball player, so. He so badly wants to hit. And it's like, you would hurt somebody, buddy. Like, you cannot hit. It's funny. Okay. I'm going to go. I'm actually going to be live in a little bit again. Um. My friend Amanda and I, we have our nonprofit, The More Than a Project. We're going to talk about the retreat that we have in September. And we're really going to do a hard, um, a hard ask for some donations. And so if you, um, I'll be live again later, like at 10. And um, I did share a link for my supporter page. It's Topic Tuesday. So I will be doing a Topic Tuesday today. I'm not sure what it's going to be on. Um, I always pick, you know, kind of the, the harder, more challenging topics. So marriage, siblings, aggression, medication, that sort of thing. So if you want to join that group, click the link. Okay. Bye everyone.